Hello HP Touchpad users, great news. Signage Mod 10.1 has arrived. Yes, Android version 4.2.2 on the HP Touchpad here is a nearly fully functional ROM. Let's talk a little bit more about it and I'll take you on a tour of some of the new features of the interface. Here in the XDA Developers Forum, senior member SGA has posted this testing ROM for us to check out. We'll test it out, give a little feedback. Now he wants to thank Dr. Marble and JC Sullins, the three of them collaborated and put this great testing ROM together for us. Big thank you guys, this is really running great. Now there's some more information about it here, users are starting to test this out and post information and feedback. Now I've started compiling information because it's easy to lose stuff in a thread. Now here in the Roots Wiki forum, you'll find links in the description. I have lots of information I'm putting together about this. Now you'll want to note this is for experienced users. You want to know how to do an Android backup. You want to know how to use recovery in order to test this out. Very important. Now what's working? Uh, the sound and mic are actually working quite well. The SD card is accessible. Uh, Wi-Fi is working fairly well. Uh, there's a low battery drain during sleep, but some really high spiking. So battery life's not great, but it's pretty good so far for you know a ROM of this nature. It's just kind of a first, second build. Uh, Google Now works, but you have to do a little work around to get that working. Now the known issues are Bluetooth doesn't work at all. The camera doesn't work at all, but Dorgary is gonna get that working for us. And never fear, he's a great developer. Uh, now there's lots of unknown bugs and problems, so you really use this at your own risk. This is for testing. Now the typical touchpad problems exist. Don't let the touchpad running a testing ROM run out of batteries. Just don't do it, it's a bad idea. Now to make sure this doesn't happen, you can install one of these free apps here. They'll just shut it down. There's information on how to set it up and it basically just shuts it down before you've run out of batteries. No problems, no worries. Now again, uh, this is a common problem with the HP touchpad. You can't charge it off the USB. It just doesn't get enough power like that. Always charge it from the wall plug. That's just how you do it. More information and workaround is being added here in the notes section. And you can also find the individual links to the downloads. And I'll be updating the information as it comes out. There's already lots of feedback from users and information. Now, something to note about this is you can watch videos, uh, but hardware decoding is not working in this build. But as we were just talking about, some members have already tested out adding the new Adreno drivers. Now, WebDroid MT has already gone ahead and tested this out with this build and has found that he was able to get hardware decoding working. So YouTube videos in HD, uh, HD video decoding for regular media content, uh, and it was running quite well, and he talks about it here. Now, it's not in this build, but since he already got it working, this means it'll probably happen in the near future. Stuff is really going great with this, but check it out. I've been comp compiling all the information for you, get a quick look at everything that's going on. So great to hear, good news, now let's check it out. Now, if you're familiar with Cyanogen Mod 10, you'll notice there's just a few interface changes. Here's the notifications, they're gonna pop up here, you can swipe them away, and your settings is gonna be over here on the right. So it's a little bit separated, a little bit different. Still great to see. Lock screen is a little bit different when you lock it and start it up. You can swipe around to different apps you've got loaded on, and you can add apps with this little plus. You just click it there, choose your app, Let's do a little calculator, and there you go. You can use your calculator at the lock screen, no problem. So a few interface changes, lots of neat stuff to try out. Um, now, hardware decoding isn't working, so we can play YouTube videos. Let's check it out, but we're going to need to unselect that HD, and it's not a big deal. It'll work, but it won't work by default. We'll need to select it. Or it'll just load endlessly if you don't select it. The new BlackBerry Sorry for the ads. Let's you jump backwards and forwards in time to capture the perfect shot. But here you have to unselect the HD and then start the video. Hello Android users. Today I'm going to show you how to manually And it'll play like normal. Into a folder called but not download. in HD. We can also down you select HD, it'll stop working, but it does work. Good to know. You can do your video playback. Here's the MX video player, but you have to do it in software mode. So it'll be the little button here at the top. If you try to do it in hardware, it just won't play. And it'll switch it back to software for you. But sound and video playback are working in software mode. For things to be different. Here's a little clip from Ugly Americans, season finale, season one. Longing for the life we wish we had. 
instead of the one we're stuck with. Holy Christ. Did you feed the man birds? You crazy bitch. The man birds are these wild man-like bird creatures who go crazy for change. Great show, ugly Americans. So you can see video playback is working. You can check out some of the new interface features. I like how when you zoom in and out, it kind of looks a little bit different. It's in the middle now instead of just along the side. You know, it's just a few things to try out and check out. This is a test ROM after all. Now you can play games. Performance isn't stellar, uh, but games do run. So you can check it out and try it out, but don't expect to be better than Signage and Mod 10, especially not better than Signage and Mod 9. As you can see, it's running decently, but performance isn't great. But it just shows us what is happening with Signage Mod 10.1 on the HP touchpad. It's really running great. Uh, now the SD card is accessible. This was a problem in previous builds where you couldn't go around and actually access your SD card. So you couldn't really do that much. But it works perfectly here. There's absolutely no problem with it. There you go. Some downloads. You can do everything like normal. I'm using the ES File Explorer to check things out here. Now a few things to note. Now there'll be notes in my uh, OP for my comp compilation of the information about this ROM and certain little workaround fixes like using the Google Now search. HP touchpad please. <laughs> That's a long one. But as you can see it is working and trying hard to find a match for that. But by default you'll have to disable a setting. Now look in the bottom right hand corner you'll actually have to start the app up and then you go to settings. Now right here, under voice, hot word detection will be checked on by default. You need to uncheck this, reboot the device, and then you'll be able to use Google Now. Just one of the helpful little workaround fixes. Now next up, uh, there'll be reboot options that'll be missing from this build, but you can add them back by going into developer settings. Now you won't have this developer settings tab by default. You'll need to go into about tablet, go down to the bottom and hit build number seven times. See, it's popping up a little message letting me know I already have it enabled, but that's how you get it. Then you go into developer options and you wanna check advanced reboot. And this just gives you the basic reboot options. When you go to reboot, it gives you this additional menu, which I like to have. So these are just a couple of the workaround fixes. Now you can see the navigation buttons are in the middle here. Uh, the default launcher has the app drawer in the middle here too, but I like it on the side here. I'm using the Go Launcher EX. Just a great launcher. Now overall performance has been pretty good. Music playback works. Pretty much everything is working except the Bluetooth. But there are a lot of issues that have perhaps not been discovered. So this is for testing. So come check it out. Give a little feedback. Uh, please subscribe to see the latest updates about this and go thank our great developers for getting this going for us. Big thank you guys. Anyways, thanks for watching everyone. This has been Signage and Mod 10.1 on the HP Touchpad.